This, is, this uh, video is brought to you by Cluster Fix. We specialize in instrument gauge repair. And today we're demonstrating on a 2005 Taurus how to remove the instrument cluster. It should be pretty similar to the Sable. And uh, so we're going to show you how to effectively remove it and uh, to, to where you can replace it or send it in for repair, whichever you choose to do. Uh, first thing you want to do is move the steering wheel. If you've got tilt steering wheel, move it all the way down to the full down position. And there's a few tools that you're going to need. Um, I use a pry tool, a non-marring pry tool. You may not have access to this. Um, there's metal ones you can use as well, but you just want to protect your dash. Um, sometimes if you don't have this, you can use a butter knife. And because it's thin, it'll get in there and you can pop things loose. Because uh, there's clips that hold this panel in. And um, so what you want to do, first of all, after you've lowered this down, um, I pop this knee bolster loose. There's no bolts holding this in, but you use your pry tool and just pop it loose to give you some room to work. Pop this side loose. You can hear it snap loose. Pop that side loose. So you're, lo you're loose there. And the next thing you want to pull out, this is pretty easy to do, pop your headlamp switch and out. It's just held in there with clips. There's no screws. The connectors, uh, there's just a push lock there. You'll squeeze the tab and pull it out. There's two of those, so you got this out of the way. And the next thing you do, um, these stereos use a uh, special tool, stereo removal tool. It's like a U-shaped tool that goes in and unlocks the clips. And um, they're pretty cheap to buy if you were to buy them. If you don't have them, another thing that works, takes a little more effort, is you use your your uh, pry tool again and put pressure on it. It's hard to see back here, um, but you'll I'll demonstrate right here. You just kind of wedge it in there, and if you take like a pick tool, there's two holes on each side of the stereo heater control assembly, and if you take a pick tool and just go through each one, you'll kind of hear it snap. So if you get one snap, go to the next one, get it to snap, and then it'll give and come out a little bit. And then you can go to the other side and do the same thing. So that's another method of removal if you don't have the uh, Ford stereo removal tool. Um, so I've already done this to save time. So you just pop it loose. You don't need to take it all the way out and disconnect wiring and stuff like that. I'm just taking it loose to gain access to more things. Um, once you've done that, pull that loose. Um, there's two 7 millimeter screws at the very top of this uh, instrument cluster panel here and you remove those screws which I've already done and once you remove this stereo there's three screws on top and they're seven millimeters as well all these screws are seven millimeter from the factory so you remove the three that are on top here and then you lift the stereo heater control assembly and there's two more on the bottom so you'll pull those screws out and that will allow you to pull this trim panel off right here um, you don't need to pull it all the way off, just back it off. You want to get things freed up so you're not cracking your trim. Um, but you don't need to take it all the way out, that's way too much work. So once you take this loose, there's one more 7mm screw right below this info reset switch. So you'll pop that, uh, pull that 7mm screw out down here. So now I've got all the screws removed here, and it's just held in now by clips. And you just carefully move your tool around and work it out. So it's all loose there. There's a couple more switches over here similar to this that you're going to have. The connectors are similar to where you have to uh, undo the connectors so you can free up your uh, panel here. So you'll put your hand back here, push on the tabs. get those connectors out and now you've got this thing loose in here and there's a, a little arm that comes up on this panel so you want to kind of squeeze down carefully and free this thing up so roll it forward like this to get it out see this little uh, hook is right on top there now this thing will uh, move out of the way you can get in here to remove the rest of the cluster. You just set that aside. Now the cluster 
is held in by four seven mil millimeter screws once again. So you get your nut driver or socket and extension. Um, I like to keep my finger in there once they come loose so you don't drop the screws down in the dash. And you set them aside. Once you get these four screws out here, the cluster comes out real easily. Now the cluster is loose in there, so um, the next thing you might, this is a council shift shifter, um, so we don't have that problem on this, but if you've got a steering column mounted shifter, you'll have the shift indicator up here, and there's a couple ways to remove it. Um, one of them is taking this knee bolster the rest of the way off, and or and accessing it from down here, and there's like a 5.5 millimeter screw that holds the adjuster assembly to the steering column, and you can remove that and carefully feed it back up here or there's two screws right here and that's probably an easier way to do it it's their combination um, like a six millimeter and a torx head um, but you get these two screws out and you can pull the uh, shift indicator assembly loose from your uh, cluster lens and set it aside you may need to pop the uh, um, cluster lens loose. You can do that using your tool as well. Just kind of pop it loose, kind of like I did there, and pull it out of the way, but you just pull it out like that and set that safely aside. And once you do that, you got your connector. Um, I like to unplug it with the key off. And the connector has a little locking tab as well. You push with your finger or use a little screwdriver and push it while you're flipping this gray lever back. So you'll push that, you'll flip the gray lever back and that pulls the connector out for you. So same thing going back in. You'll put the connector in place, you'll flip it over and lock it in place. You hear it snap lock in place. You want to make sure it's fully seated. But once you flip it over like that, the cluster comes out and you got it in your hand so you can send it in for repair. Um, a couple of problems that these clusters have on the Tauruses 05, 06, 07, the Sables, uh, some of the uh, Ford 500s, um, the uh, odometer and message display centers, the uh, readout there will disappear, it'll, it'll fade out or it won't work at all. And that's one thing that goes wrong that we repair. And another problem they have is you'll have multiple gauge issues. Um, gauges won't work correctly, they won't read correctly, they'll be intermittent coming and going. Um, so that's another thing we repair on, we repair on these clusters. Um, if you have any questions, um, you can call us at 509-366-9009. Um, you can also visit us on our website at www.clusterfix.net. And there you can get some answers to questions and also some pricing information and our shipping address. Thank you very much.